Yeah, so welcome and in this tutorial, we're going to be seeing how to install Python on your Windows machine. Okay, so uh, let's start with the practical stuff. Okay, so head over to your favorite browser and here you're going to type python.org. Okay, so as soon as you write this thing, uh, it happened by mistake, it's org, okay? Okay, so the first link you can see here is www.python.org, okay? So, you're going to click on this. As soon as you click, you will get to see this, uh, it's a Python uh, official website and from here, you can download the latest version of the Python, okay? So, in this, uh, click on the downloads and uh, here you can see the latest version that is Python 3.9.1. So, this is the latest version as for now in my uh, computer system uh, at the point I am uh, creating a video, okay. So, click on this and as soon as you are going to click, uh, it will start the downloading. So, here it goes, it's very quick, okay. Open this, double click and you will see this, uh, it's a Python installer, okay. You can see this uh, box and here it says install Python 3.9.1 for 64 bit, okay. So, uh, here you can see that this box is already uh, checkboxed, okay, and uh, don't forget to uh, checkbox this. Uh, this is going to add your Python to the environment variables, okay. So, click on this and uh, yeah, uh, just say install now. It will ask for the permission and all, so say, simply say yes. And I will just minimize this. Okay, so it is getting installed. Just be patient and... Uh, the, as you can see, the installation is quite uh, simple and straightforward. It takes hardly some time for the setup process to get completed. All right, done. So, it says setup was successful. Okay, so fine. So, we will just simply say close and we will go to this uh, window start. And as you can see in the recently added, you can see here uh, the we have installed Python. Okay, right. Now, with this uh, uh, Python, it comes... Uh, uh, you can see uh, IDLE Python 3.9 for 64 bit. Then uh, you can even see the modules, docs, manuals, and this is the Python terminal. Okay, so uh, we will first check for the IDLE. Okay, so just simply click uh, click on it. Okay, so this is the IDLE shell. You can see a uh, three uh, 3.9.1. So now for uh, we will simply write a simple command. Okay, in order to check whether a Python is uh, cor uh, correctly installed or not. So, the simplest uh, statement is print, okay. So, we are going to write print, okay. So, this print is basically used to uh, print anything on your machine, okay. So, simply write print and in the rounded break, uh, braces, uh, you are going to write in a single quotes, okay. So, I say welcome to WSQ. Okay, so this is how you write a simple print statement in Python, okay, and when you say simply enter, it says welcome to WSQ Tech Python, okay. So, now this is simply the IDLE shell, okay, and in this you can even uh, create a file. So, I am going to create a file, I am going to show you how you can create a file in this. So, simply say file, new file, okay. In this, uh, you are going to write simply the, say, I will just uh, copy paste this. All right. So, in this, uh, I am writing the same command and uh, we need to save it. So, I say save and on my desktop, I am going to save it. S say hello and the extension would be .py, okay. So, simply say save and it says already been saved and from here run and we will say run module, okay. So, this is how uh, you can even make a uh, a file new file into it and you can uh, write your python codes over here okay so we'll simply say exist so it says uh, your program is still running do you want to kill it so i say yes okay fine we'll simply close it so as you can see as i created a file so here we got that hello.py okay that file uh, i saved on my desktop okay now uh, again when i click over here so we have uh, seen this IDLE Python, okay. Python even has its, uh, uh, it comes with its own terminal, okay. So, let's see, you can even write your Python code over here. So, this is the P Python terminal, okay. So, in this, again, the same command I'm going to write, 
that is print okay welcome to ws cube tech okay so this is how we write a print command okay it says welcome to ws cube tech okay so this is the python terminal which comes along with uh, the python uh, uh, when you install the python okay so these are the things which comes with uh, it okay so you can use even this python terminal to write your python code over here okay we still simply say exit and that's it now the another way the third way is you can even use the command prompt okay so we're going to see how we are, uh, can use the command prompt so this is your command prompt all right so in order to check the version uh, version of which python is installed on your computer on your system so simply write python hyphen hyphen version that's it it will give you the version okay uh, you can even check for pip version now what is this pip now uh, python comes with this uh, pip okay and this is nothing but uh, you, you're going to use it uh, when you want to uh, download some external libraries okay you want to work with it so which are available for free so you can make use of uh, uh, pip and in that case so uh, this is how you type a command okay so pip hyphen hyphen version okay so yes pip is also installed okay and uh, one more thing over here is that if i simply write here python okay and i give it a enter so you can uh, you can use this windows command prompt as your python shell now this is going to work as your python shell okay so now here you can simply write the uh, the print statement okay that is welcome to ws cube tech okay yes so it says welcome to ws cube tech okay so now this is going to work uh, after writing this python command it is going to work as a python shell okay your windows command prompt is going to work as a python shell okay and you can even write your python codes over here okay so simply say exit so now we have got out of that and now this is a command prompt so now if you write the same statement that is print welcome to ws cube tag it says unable to initialize device prn okay so this is how uh, you can uh, uh, use uh, these are the three options which you, uh, and anything uh, any one of it you can choose while writing your python code okay so we basically seen i will just give a summary about what we have learned today okay exit okay so first we have seen how to download a python which is quite simple you can just go to the uh, 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 python uh, uh, or official website and you can download the latest version through it and after downloading the latest version in your uh this recent section you can see the ide which we saw that how you can use this ide uh in order to write your python code and in this you can even create your file and save it uh, as i saved it on my desktop with the extension.py okay and uh, we even saw that how you can use the python terminal okay that too uh, that itself comes with uh, when you download the python or python software okay so you can make use of this python terminal and the third thing we saw how you can run commands with the help of the command prompt okay so this was all about in the today's video which we studied about hope you enjoyed the session in the next video we're going to be studying about the python editors and we're going to be downloading one of the editors which is the most famous and uh, used for the python uh, language that is a pycharm so thanks for watching